Hello everyone, I'm Alicia. For this video, I'm going to open up another dollar bead box and bag. And in case you're new to this, the dollar bead box and bag are monthly bead subscriptions that you can subscribe to online. And they also offer sometimes some other, like, deals and stuff. And they also have an online store, which I have gone and bought from the online store. And it is awesome because you can buy everything for a dollar. But in order to do that, you have to be a member. So I recommend that you go to their website. I will leave a link for the website down there in the description bar below this video. So you can go check them out and um, read all the information about their monthly subscriptions. And I also wanted to let you guys know that I made a playlist for you guys because every time I get a box I make a tutorial or two depending on what I can come up with and if I have enough time to do it. And um, I have the dollar bead box playlist and in the playlist I have where I've opened up the boxes and I also have the videos there that I've made, the tutorials, with the stuff that I get in the box. So for this video let's open up the box and see what's inside. So before I open the box, I just wanted to let you guys know that my cat is here again on my desk. I don't know what his deal is. Last time when I filmed the snowman videos, he was here driving me crazy, swatting my beads, and he just doesn't want to leave. I, I, I don't know what's going on. But I just wanted to give you guys a heads up if you see a tail or something in the video, okay? So let's go ahead and open up the dollar bead box. This is December's box, by the way. I got it in a few days ago, and right the day that I filmed the snowman, that day I started getting an ear infection, and the, that night I thought I was going to die, and the very next day it got really bad. And so I, I didn't get to work on editing the, the snowman video for several days. So, um... Yeah, this this came in a few days ago. Okay, so let's see what's in the box. I'm going to move this here to the side. The cat wants to know what's in the dollar bee bag. <laughs> oh, now he's checking out the box. He's obsessed with boxes. Like I am. But I don't get inside the box like he does. Okay. Let's start with the three millimeter beads. These right here, and then these are the uh, four. Okay, so the top one is matte crystal, which is this one right here. Pretty cool. I have clear crystal, but I don't have any matte, so these are nice to have. They look like ice. Pretty neat. And the next one is Chartreuse Nebulous Luster, which I'm guessing is this one here. And I love Chartreuse. It is gorgeous. So pretty. I love these. That's something I would want to go back and buy from the Dollar Bead Box. Okay, the next thing is Northern Lights, which is this one. And then Matte Warm Copper. Okay, so this is Northern Lights, and I've seen this color other places, and I've, I've known it by um, Magic Blue, and these are awesome. I love this color. I just got this in 60 seed beads. They are so pretty. Gorgeous. This one is Matte Warm Copper. This is pretty. So I think it, it was in the last box I got. I got a color similar to this, but it was brass or bronze. It was a different shade of, of metallic shade. These are gorgeous. I love the metallics. Okay, now on to the 4mm. So this one here is Northern Lights and 4mm. Yes, this is awesome. I love having the two different sizes because like when I did the, the vintage uh, medallion, I needed two different sizes and it worked out great so I love having two different sizes in the same color okay and then matte vintage bronze this one here so I don't remember was it la no not last bead box the one before last I got these in four millimeter and I used them in a wrap bracelet these are fantastic 
It's a gorgeous color. I got them in three last time. These are four. And then the next one is Green Turquoise Nebulous Luster. Boy, that cat is really going to town over there. I don't, I just, I don't know why he is so obsessed with being on my desk. It's driving me crazy. And again, these are beautiful. You know what? I bought these, I want to say. Green Turquoise Nebulous Luster. No, I didn't buy these. I think I got a silver one. I don't know if I got the Nebulous. I want to say mine were 3 millimeter. These are gorgeous. I absolutely love stuff like that. Beautiful. And these are amazing too. Metallic Rhubarb. Now I bought this color in um, Round Duos. And that one was called Magic Wine. But it's basically the same thing. These are gorgeous. It's the same finish, believe it or not, as this. It's just a different color. So this one's like blue and purple. And the Magic Wine is red. There's some green in there. They're really neat. I love that kind of bead. So the dollar bead bag was awesome again. Really awesome stuff in there. Now let's see what's in the box. <coughs> Cat wants to see what's in box two. What's in the box, folks? Oh my gosh, look at those. Okay, I'll just take this out. You know, I'm going to take all of this out because the white messes up with my camera. I, I don't know why, guys. Wow, that's a really big strand. Where's my list? Let me see. Okay, the first thing on the list is this giant strand. The cat is trying to get in the tiny little box, so I'm going to put that over here and maybe he'll leave. <laughs> Go over there, Bo. Go to the box. Okay, so, so my camera battery just died, and while I was trying to get the camera back up, the cat left. So yay, now I can go through these beads without being distracted by the cat. Okay, so the first one I just checked out here was the 8mm Czech Fire Polish Siam 24 count. These are beautiful. I'm excited about those. The next thing on the list is 4mm Czech Glass Truck Jet 48. And Jet is usually black. So that's this here. I could have used these for my snowman. <laughs> yeah, my little snowman. I could have used them. Um, it was 44 I needed. And then there's 48 in a strand. So this is enough to make one snowman. His hat, his eyes, his mouth, and his buttons. Okay, the next thing is... 7mm Czech Fire Polish Metallic Violet 28. Ooh, these are pretty. Do you guys remember the right angle weave? bracelet I made with a previous dollar bead box. It had 7mm check fire polish beads in them, but they weren't violet, they were pink. Close to this. They were metallic pink. I think it was metallic fuchsia, I want to say it was. These are pretty. That's nice. And the next thing is 3x5mm check glass gem cut rondelle. Dusty rose. Ooh, more rondelles. Ooh, that's these here. Oh my gosh. This almost looks like cherry quartz. These are really pretty. I love these. They've been getting a lot of check uh, rondelles in their boxes. Okay, the next thing after that is 3 by 5 millimeter Czech glass gem cut rondelle light aqua. Oh, another one. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. These are gorgeous. I love this color. That is so pretty. I love these. And they look nice with these. 
They look nice with those too. Those are beautiful. I love those. Okay, next thing, two by three millimeter Chet Glass Gem Cut Rondelle Desert Rose. What? No, Desert Tones. I was getting, going back. Two by three millimeters. So this, wait, is there? No, wait, there is one, two, three, four strands of rondelles. So one is called Desert Tones and one is Spring Mixes. Desert Tones. I want to say that this would be the Spring Mix because it's a spring color. I don't know, but let's just check them both out. They are beautiful. So this is like caramel brown. Really pretty. Man, it's so cool that they put so many uh, Czech Rondelles in this box. This one's gorgeous too. It's sort of similar to this one. This one's here is more of a green. And again, these are 2 by 3 millimeter, and these ones were 3 by 5. Very pretty. Okay, after all the rondelles, I'm looking for 6 by 8 millimeter Chet Glass Squishy, <laughs> Squishy Saucer Amethyst. So that's this here, Squishy Saucer. That's a funny name. These are cool. So, it's, if you look from this side, it's an oval shape. And then from this side, you could see that it looks like a saucer. These are very unusual. How would I use these? Hmm. These might work in right angle weaves, like that uh, bracelet I was talking about earlier. Um, how many are there? There's 36, and there's 6 by 8 millimeter. So 6 from hole to hole, and 8 this way. So yeah, I do wonder if these would work in right angle weave, but they're very tall. It would be nice to see though, if it would work. Okay, so that is all of the strands, and now I'm going to additional items. So I'm going to look for a 22 millimeter double sided resin blank, antique silver or antique copper. That's this right here. This is awesome because I do resin and my, my problem is is that I'll have a project I want to do in resin and then I buy the resin to do it and I don't do it for a while and when I go back my resin has discolored. The resin still works but I can't use it with anything that is clear because you could see that it's discolored. So this is pretty neat and it looks like, oh my gosh, it, this can be double sided because, see that there, the lip is the same on both sides. So you could do a double sided resin pendant and you can also do the, um, what's it called, Judikin's Diamond Glaze. You can use that too. You could put a picture in there, one on each side, then you put the Judikin's in there to seal it. There's also Mod Podge Dimensional Magic that could be used for a pendant too if you're not a resin person. So this is pretty neat. These little things are expensive to buy. Okay, so there was that. And now I have to look for 15 millimeter Czech Glass Button Bead California Collection 2. 22 millimeter button B2. That's probably this. There's two. That's two charms, so I think it's this. Oh my gosh. Oh, one side is like copper, or actually, no, I would say rose gold. And then the other side is a yellow gold. These are so beautiful. I need to try and make earrings out of these. These are beautiful. Wow. And if if I could somehow do it where they were 
double-sided. Maybe I could do a bracelet or something. I like that they are double-sided. That is so cool. Those are really awesome. Okay. Now what? 19 millimeter Swarovski Swarovski Article 5525 Wave Bead Crystal Astral Mix This Wave Bead I want to say it's this one. This is neat. That's a really unusual shape. Look at that. The hole goes that way. That's pretty cool. Man, is that sparkly. And they always put the uh, Swarovski on the, on the back of the ones that are Swarovski. Okay, so after that, where was I? 7 by 13 millimeter Swarovski Article 5181 Keystone Bead. Crystal Red Magma. It's this one. This one has two holes. Yes? Yes. Oh, two holes. And those are really big holes. Holy cow. Did that one have such a big hole? Yeah, I guess it did. They both have really big holes. This is pretty. I wonder if this could fit over a chain. Like a sterling silver chain. Because the hole is so tiny. You could probably use it as a bale, believe it or not. If you can find a thin enough chain or cord, put it through the top hole. Or bottom hole. It's up to you. I think I would use it like this, though. And then I could have a pendant going through that there. And I would slide a cord or a chain to the top and use this as a bale. Since there's only one. That's really pretty. I like this color, too. And I can't tell. They're saying it's red. Where was it? That's the wave. Red magma. It's like a red orange. Okay, next thing is 14 by 26 millimeter Preciosa Crystal Angel Pendant. Color varies. That's this here. This is Preciosa? I didn't know Preciosa did charms like this. That's really cute. And it comes with a jump ring, too. It's cute. And it is pretty sparkly. See how sparkly those stones are? Okay, next thing is 6mm Czech Glass Tabular Square Opaque Turquoise 10 quantity. Oh, these! When I first saw these, I kind of thought Czech Tylas, and then I saw they had one hole. So that's pretty neat. There's 10 of them. I love this color. One of my favorite colors. Those are cute. Okay. After that, 8 by 12 millimeter check glass gumdrop bead. Green opal. Wow. I've never, ever had gumdrops. I've always wanted to try them. I thought they were bigger than this. Or maybe they come in different sizes. I don't know. They're 8x12. So if you guys have any that are bigger, let me know. These are 8x12 millimeter. So when they measure them, they're measuring 8 from this hole to that hole. And 12 is, you know, from the, there to there. They really do look like gumdrops. That's funny. And there is 8 of them. That's a nice amount. I thought these were sold individually when you went to buy them. 
Those are really cool. They have a little bit of line to them. I like that. See the lines? It's pretty. Okay, after the gumdrops, I'm looking for 6mm Chet Glass Heart. Opaque pink. <gasps> Bees? Oh my gosh. So, one bead box, I got hearts like this, but they were this color. I want to say like this same exact color, actually. And these ones here are opaque, and I wanted to use them, and I never did. And I actually went back and bought more of them because I love them so much. And I really would like to do something with hearts. Maybe I'll think of something for Valentine's Day. Check heart beads. I got a bunch of them now to work with. These are so precious. I love those. And how many was there? There's 12. That's a nice amount. I love these two colors together. The pink and the turquoise. It's pretty. Okay, there's four things left. Now I have to look for 6 by 8 millimeter Chet Glass Drop Bead. Pink Opal. So that's these here. And let's see, where's the hole at? The hole is down the center, not on the side. And I've been wondering what I could do with teardrops like this. I've already done stuff with them, but um, like bead weaving is what I mean. I did um a French beading project where I took the French beaded flowers, the way that they're made, and I used it to make jewelry. And I used teardrops in the center and I did the seed beads around it. I have a tutorial on it. And um, it turned out really cool, the teardrop beads. These are so cute. I love those. There's a lot of good stuff to choose from when I go to make a tutorial. Okay, next thing is 8mm Czech Glass Curved Cube Bead. Caribbean Blue. Opal 6 quantity. So that's these here. These are really cool. Curved Cube. These are beautiful. I love these. Beautiful beads. Okay, next thing is 10 millimeter Thai Hill Tribe Silver Pendant 2. These here. And they're in the bag upside down, so let's see what they look like. Oh, they're flowers. It's so pretty. These are really cute. I love those. Really s simple earrings, those. Could put a bead in the top of them or just attach them to ear wire. I would have to put a bead in them. Everything needs beads. Okay, the last one is 15 millimeter check glass table cut tabular square yellow opal with travertine. This is pretty neat. I want to say I got one of these last time. It was, um, what color was it? Not green, that's the one I used in the vintage medallion. Was it white or cream color? pretty cool. It's a really neat bead. I like how it feels. Okay, so this is everything, and I'm really happy. There's a lot of stuff in this box. A lot of colors that I go for when I make jewelry, too, like the turquoise. This pink is killer. These are amazing. There's some really good things in here. This is so unusual, this bead. How the hole is in it. It kind of looks like a flame. And there's some really good strands here. I was blown away that they put so many rondelle strands in one box. I love rondelles. The Czech rondelles are the best quality. They don't have sharp holes like some of the other cheaper rondelles do that you can get at the craft stores. They're really good quality. Okay, so this is it. Here is my dollar bead bag 
So, um, this is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like this video, leave me a comment, subscribe if you want to see more of my videos, and like me on Facebook. And don't forget to share pictures of the jewelry made from my videos on my Facebook page, and follow me on Pinterest. Thanks for watching!